Hey guys, in this video, I'll show you how to stop the bad pool header blue screen. With these simple tips, you can hopefully avoid expensive repairs or having to buy a new computer. Let's dive in. Tip number one, uninstall recent or unwanted programs. If you recently installed a program when the computer freezes started happening, try uninstalling it. Also, it's a good practice to uninstall any programs you no longer need. The less cluttered your computer, the better. Click the Windows button and Settings, which looks like a gear icon here. Click Apps and scroll through the list to see which ones you don't use. You can uninstall one program at a time by selecting it and clicking Uninstall. If you need it in the future, just reinstall it. Tip number two, modify your power options. Some of the default settings can cause your entire computer to freeze up. Let's change them now. Right-click the Windows button here and click Power Options. Then click Additional Power Settings here on the right pane. Click Choose What the Power Buttons Do here on the left pane, and you'll see these options below. Be sure that Turn Off Fast Startup and Sleep are both unchecked. You can enable these options by clicking Change Settings that are currently unavailable here. Then you can make changes. Hit Save when you're done. And right here we'll modify the plan setting by clicking Change Plan Settings and change advanced power settings until this pop-up window shows up. On top, be sure you're running on high performance and here under Intel graphics settings, Intel graphics power plan. Be sure that both are set to balanced. Then look for PCI Express, link state power management, and set both to off. Save all the changes and exit from the power options window when you're done. Tip number three. Run Disk Cleanup Utility. Click the Windows button and type Disk Cleanup and hit Enter. The tool can tell you right away how much space will be freed up, all just from files that are currently checked. I prefer checking them all because these are just temp files using up your valuable space and memory. Click Cleanup System Files to proceed. When that's done, click OK. Don't worry, this tool only deletes unnecessary files. There you have it. Three quick tips that should prevent the dreaded blue screen of death. If you don't want to perform these steps on your own and prefer to have a software do it for you, click the link in the description box below to visit registry-clean-up.net and click the download button to install the software. With this software, you can run a scan of your computer to diagnose why it's not running in peak performance. Simply click the scan button and wait a few minutes while it runs a complete diagnosis of your computer. And here are the results. As you can see, the software can do many of the steps we had mentioned earlier, as well as perform some additional performance tweaks, such as removing malware, updating drivers, fixing registry errors and corrupted files. And it will even help protect your privacy. But please take note that in order to perform all the tweaks, you'll have to register the software. Once again, to get your free diagnosis, click the link in the description box below to visit registry-clean-up .net and download the software. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like button, leave your comments or questions below, and to subscribe to my channel for more PC performance tips. See you next time.